have a two-inch height advantage over Damian Brown. Here we go, round one, the 2019 Ryzen Grand Prix in the lightweight division is officially underway. Here is our first boat of the evening. Damian Brown, Musiev. Check out the distance, a high kick landing now by Musiev. Damian Brown not having any of it, cutting the corners off. There's a nice body shot landed there by Musiev. Got Damian right in the middle of a punch. Ooh. Oh, I heard that one. That was a low blow. Oh, geez. Un unintentional. Good happens you throw a, a late kick on the inside, Frank, but. Yeah, that was straight up the center. No, no reason to show the replay, but they will. <laughs> no, I mean, there's no mistaking that sound. He might have broke his cup. That was all shin, too. Of course. Shibink? Ooh. Well, fingers crossed that hopefully he's wearing a Muay Thai cup, a steel cup. <laughs> Good on him. Didn't take the five minutes. Respectful and said, okay, let's do this. Let's go. The ref never started him again. Keep coming. Have really using his, his kicks to put Brown off balance right before he's throwing the punch. Brown now cornering his opponent. Keeping him on the outside. He's doing a great job. Brown's doing a great job of staying in front of him. He's not doing anything with it. He's just kind of st he's stalking him. He's putting him in a great spot. But he's not throwing anything back. Brown's been caught twice with that right hand. Powerful kick for Valencia. Brown unfazed. Stalking his opponent down there. There's a deep kick. See if having nothing, nothing of it. 90 seconds gone here. Oh, nice. We can the knees a little bit. Yeah. We'll see him now taking the back here. Back control. Maybe trying to go underneath the Kimura. Looks a high kick there. There it is right there. Oh, what a nice punch landed there. Both guys throwing bombs down the middle. Oh, what a nice punch landed again yeah. by Musia, but still. Brown moving forward there. Another kick to the body. There's an overhand right there. Look at Brown. Look at Brown's rib on yeah. his right side. His whole right side there. The arm, the tricep, the ribs, red. He's using his forward, timing that left kick. As soon as Brown steps, Musiev will move over and just then throw through that shin. Oh, and a spinning back fist to Musiev. Brown walking right through it. Another kick there. Musiev now picking up the pace here. Still got two minutes and 16 seconds to go here. First one, nice trip there. Let's move him. I just back out. Let him stand up again. Three minutes in the round. 
So this is this is for the, the guys at home that are training and fighting in MMA. You're beating a guy up on his feet. Why would you just kick him at the, at the legs when he's on his back? Get him back up on his feet. If you're not going to engage fully and try to pass and, and ground and pound, just let him up on his feet. I think if anything, he's like, ah, I'm not in any danger here. Pepper at his legs a bit more. Catch my breath. Looks like Brown's cut above his left eye. Yeah. Another left kick there. Brown actually left and a left jab or left hook there. Sweeped there by Musayev. Jab there. Yeah, getting, Brown's taking a bit of abuse here. You see him once again dropped there by the kick. Inside left kick, right hand lands by Musiev quite frequently in this fight, Frank. It's very rare you see someone with this kind of skill on their feet when Musiev is getting him, hitting him twice, both, both legs and hands, and then getting out of the way as Brown punches back. He's not there anymore. Oh, that's a oh, yeah, thunderous that kick there. Less than a minute to go here. Musiev going in there for the finish. Can Damian Brown survive this round here? But he is getting rocked. That's it. That's it. That is it. That is it. Tufik Musiev is the first fighter to advance. In this 2019 Ryzen Lightweight Grand Prix. Wow, I was not expecting that to be that easy. I thought Damian Brown was going to get in there stylistically, being able to fight. Of course, he's arguing right now to stop it, but it was clear as day he was beat. There was no way to come back from it. And he's getting cut up on the right side of his face. His corner's not even arguing at this point. They both they all agree the fight should have been stopped when it was. Of course, Damian's mad. He thought he could have done better, but it didn't work out that way. And I have so much respect for Damian Brown, how he steps through and fights. I'm just in awe of how good uh, Musiev was to play Damian tonight. It's a big deal. Like, the way that Musiev approached his fight, the way that he stepped in front is patient. But we still have a question. He's at Alpha Male working on his wrestling and his takedown defense and offense, his ground game, but we saw none of it tonight. The one time he had Damian down on his back, he didn't even attempt to get in there. He kept the back up on his feet, so what's going to happen if somebody takes him down? How good is he going to be? Because I came to my knowledge, Joe, and the folks at home might know better than me. I can't remember a time that Musiev has ever been taken down. Well, he's part of that Dagestani crew, originally from that Dagestani crew, actually. So, I mean, look at it this way. Damian Brown is absolutely no joke. He's a fantastic fighter, highly skilled. We've seen the destruction he causes here at Ryzen, and Musayev just comes out there and outclass him. Oh, that's forgive, how good he is. forgive me. He's Azerbaijani. He's not Dagestani. Okay, that's right Azerbaijani up. flag. I apologize for. I said it earlier, and I'm the one to give Joe that that information. I said he's Dagestani, but he's Azerbaijani. Let's hear what he has to say. Thank you very much. I am being here. Let's go! Azerbaijan! Come on! Yeah. Hopefully I'll just dance in front of the, the camera that they have stalled at the ring and I'll just keep walking back and forth in the front of it and keep all you guys entertained. Well, on behalf of Frank uh, mentioning that to the American fans, I'll take care of the